Hey guys, welcome back to another Game Theory Reaction, where I say a bunch of stupid nonsense, and then you bitch about it in the comments. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding, by the way. But, yeah, I'm just kidding. But anyways, welcome to another Game Theory Reaction. Today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Game Theory FNAF, Golden Freddy, Not What We Thought, by the Game Theorists. Now... I don't know what to think of this episode. I mean, I heard that the new books came out, and there's, like, also something happening with the books where, like, there's a secret code or something. I don't know. I just heard a bunch about the books. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, if you want to watch the full video, that link's down in the description. Uh, make sure you go subscribe to Game Theory. That link's also down in the description. And, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> There's room for one more. Yay! Oh! Oh, that's such a disgusting starting. What the hell is that implying? Oh no, my friends, of course not. Now, there are two more final installments announced, just like every game after FNAF. <laughs> okay, that's actually, that's, that's a good gag, I like it. It's funny. Today's episode is going to be dedicated to a general overview of the stories, spotlighting some of the most important details for theory crafting, and explaining what I think this new batch of stories is trying to tell us about the series' mystery. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. I like that he's doing that, because, I mean, yeah, honestly, I think these videos are very cool, and I kind of like how he's just going through them. It's pretty cool. And then she dies, trapped in a ventilation shaft after being tortured by the embodiment of the child that she never had. Children's entertainment. Wait, what? Okay. What? Oh, that's possessed. All right. <laughs> Immediately hurls her would-be child into the nearest dumpster. Yikes, Delilah, maybe- Yeah, what the hell? Why- why would you say that? Sing songs and even serve drinks. Serve drinks? Delilah shook her head. Now, in the game- What the heck? Why would- why would she serve drinks? Like, would she work at the establishment? No, it. A doll named Ella, who is built to serve tea. From the Silver Eyes novel, quote, Out sailed Ella on her track, a child-sized doll bearing a teacup and sauce- Wait, what? Hold up, what? So, yeah, I guess that connects this to that. So, funny story. A dead body was found in this vent once. Okay, so, not that funny, but it's a story. So, Ooh, no way. No way that could be the same person. Stop me if any of this sounds familiar. Stanley is a night guard at a mysterious underground facility full of little ballerina dolls looking to escape to the surface. Oh, that doesn't sound familiar at all. No, I don't I, I, I don't recall of that. Crawling into his mouth while he sleeps, causing his body to swell to the point of bursting. The what? Bro, that editing... That editing was hilarious, though. Legit. The single biggest question of the series, and that is the identity of Golden Freddy. Let me tell you, I- Oh. Wait, what? So, um, it's not- it's not Cassidy? Hold up. Oh, that's a cool edit. With the text on the tile and, like, the bl That's actually a really cool edit. I like it. This one had curly black hair. The body in the suit wasn't Kelsey. Wait, what? What? Hold up, what? Kelsey, alive and well, as the new kid at school introducing himself to two boys. It seems, at a first reading, like this should be a flashback to when Kelsey first meets Mick and Devin at school. Like, ah, oh, this- Wait. Wait. Wait, what? So is this like a thing where he's like, leading them there? I don't know. Like, is he like, making them- so, like, is the jealousy, like, an aura or something like that? I don't know. Maybe. That's my theory. Feels like he's actively targeting loner kids to make friends with. Could- Yeah, wait! Could this be, like, a way of him, like, making them become jealous and then luring them? Yeah. Holy crap, what? He thought he was gonna have to talk Kelsey into trying on the Golden Freddy suit, but it looked like he was gonna do it all on his own. It was like it was meant- Ooh! Ooh, what?! What? What? 
Oh, that's weird. Really, really bad part was the way the suit started jerking in a spastic, horrific dance. It looked like the moth-eaten, mildew-blotched gold bear was convulsing, but it wasn't the bear, it was Kelsey. It's remarkably similar to the final cutscene from Ultimate Custom Night, where we see again an angry Golden Freddy, presumably filled with the vengeful spirit, twitching off into the darkness. Also, He's right. The Springlock suits are apparently big enough- He's right. Oh, that- that editing with the, like, the bump going on the text, like, rounding it out. That's weird. That is very weird. Next time, as we start looking into the power of agony and the twisted timeline of FNAF's next newest murderer, the Stitch Rave. Oh, okay. So, honestly, th this theory, like, I like these type of videos where, like, they just- where he goes through, like, the actual, like, multiple stories in the- in one book. Like, it's actually really cool. Like, I- I like it. And, yeah, that whole Golden Freddy thing is insane. Legit, honestly, that- that was very- I- I don't know either. The, yeah, it's like- who really, it, it, yeah, there's a lot of questions now with Golden Freddy. Like, at first we thought we solved it, but we haven't, uh, of course. But, uh, yeah, honestly, this was a pretty good video. I really enjoyed it. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I'd probably give this video a 8 out of 10. It was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. But, yeah, anyways, guys, leave a like on the subscribe to my channel. See you next one. Bye.